Okay, I got my spray equipment all ready. And now I'm going to scout around and look for some disease to show you. This is from Phomopsis, as this is, and this here. But what I'm really looking for is downy mildew and powdery mildew. I thinned this out yesterday, so I took out the stuff I found. This is Phomopsis again. Boy, it really tears up the vines. I gotta come in and thin one more time. Um, I usually do it on the far side of the row, on the vine side of the rows, but then I miss a whole lot of stuff on, on this side because it's out of reach. I do believe that's powdery mildew on there. Yeah, this is powdery mildew. Right there, all along the edge. I don't think this is here, but it, it very well could be. Yeah, that's powdery mildew right in there. All of these leaves that are starting to shrivel up have some kind of disease. Okay, this yellow in here. And here is downy mildew. You got downy mildew right there as well. The Phomopsis, which was running rampant earlier in the year, also um, helps other diseases. If you got Phomopsis early in the year, you're going to end up with downy mildew and powdery mildew. If you don't spray regularly, they're going to take over and they can possibly kill your vines. Got powdery mildew right there. Downy mildew right there. So, I'm gonna get a spray in today and I'm gonna use a systemic so that if it's rainy, it won't wash off. And hopefully, I can keep this crap under control. Next year, I really have to get the dormant spray in. There was just no way it could have been done this year. But the dormant spray is the best way to control Phomopsis before it takes hold. And once that takes hold, it opens the door for all this other crap. Yeah, that's from dehydration. And it's caused by Phomopsis. So, I gotta get in here and spray. Well, let's just... Uh, We'll take a look at the, the new vines over there. All of them have powdery mildew on the bottom leaves, but some of them might have downy mildew as well. Yeah, definitely powdery mildew down there. And there. And I really don't see you know, I'm not sure what's causing this wrinkling here. That definitely could be Phomopsis on these as well. We've got a little spot there. Just a bad year for it. Yeah, anytime you see dehydration like that, there is likely to be one of the rots present.
There's some powdery mildew. Fairly heavy case of powdery mildew. So what I'm going to do is come in here and spray. Then tomorrow I'll come around and get rid of get rid of the diseased leaves. I don't have the time to get in here and remove them ahead of time. But it has to be sprayed today. But I really have to spray today. And knock the disease down. Nothing really showing on this one. It, except it's got a little powdery mildew on the bottom there. It's hard to tell with new leaves because they're semi-yellow to start with um, sometimes. But yellowing a lot of times is a sign of downy mildew. Yeah, pretty heavy powdery mildew there. And I believe that's pigweed. Got to check on that. So, oh, geez, and, and ragweed. So, I'm going to get to it. And I'll do a brief follow-up at the end. Okay, well, I'm sure there'll be several more of these disease walks coming up this year, but that's it for today. Remember to hit the subscribe button and also click on the update notification button, which is the little bell. Then you'll receive notifications when we upload new videos. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.